The prince and his many women of guitar. Not guitar. Ooh, look at the dancing women. I think they're kids. Guitar. Quitar. Quitar. Q A fucking T A R. Ilhan Omar is in the, in the shitter right now. Ilhan Omar. Is she a spy? Is she a guitar asset? An asset to the guitars? Whoa, some heavy allegations flying, man. You're not going to believe this shit, man. What a story, right? It's staying out of mostly the mainstream media. But uh, it does seem to be a bit of a smear, a bit of a smear campaign. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're going to figure it out right now. So there's this article. A uh, let's, let's just jump right into the story. The story from the Jerusalem Post. <laughs> the Jew Post. Jew Post. Jew Post publishes, Ilhan Omar is a Qatari asset. Florida courts here. Hmm. Democrat congresswoman is uh, said to have passed information to Qatar, which was subsequently handed along to Iran. And Iran, it's a hit piece, smear. Mm, it doesn't hold up, but in, in my, that's my gut. That's my gut feeling right away that it's a, it's a hit piece on Ilhan Omar coming into the election season. Uh, so let's just explore a little bit. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, uh, Democrat from Minnesota 5th, was recruited by a foreign government, received funding from a foreign government, and passed sensitive information through intermediaries to Iran, a Florida court has been told. Ah, Florida courts, they're so reliable. Federal courts in Florida... Damn, it's like just the, the, it's the, it's the essence of, of truth in, in uh, Florida with people like Debbie Wasserman Schultz and all the, the murders during the DNC um, uh, fraud lawsuit with Seth Rich and, and uh, the other guy, right? Luca, Lucas, Sean Lucas. It's reliable, right? Florida. <laughs> the claims uh, come during testimony by Kuwaiti-born Canadian businessman Alan Bender, mm, hold that name, Alan Bender, who was given evidence in the trial of Sheikh Khalid bin Hama Hakahakahi. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Shahi Shahi Haka Binga Hakamaka Hakan Katania. That's who that guy is, right? The Quitari, um, Quitari Emra's brother. Ah, man, I can't go to Saudi Arabia no more. Wherever the fuck they are, I'll chop my head off now because I made, I, I, I didn't know how to pronounce the sheik's name. Uh, you get your fucking, <clears throat> you get the umbrella up the ass treatment for that one. Uh, so his stands accused of ordering his American, so, so this guy, Alan Bender, is in court and he's testifying, he's giving evidence against the sheik of Qatar. The guitarist Emmer's brother stands accused of ordering his body, his American bodyguard, to murder two people, and of holding an American citizen hostage. His disposition obtained by la 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 English uh, was authenticated, so it's it's legitimate. He gave this guy Alan Bender went into a federal court and gave testimony uh, in a case against the Sheikh Ali Hali Haba. Right, of guitar, right? So, speaking from Toronto by video, just listen, it's a very interesting story, and it, it does prove to be uh, a farce. But let's just see what the fake media is pushing out there. And then we'll either debunk it or agree that Ilhan Omar is a spy. Speaking from Toronto video link, Bender told the Florida District Court that he met with Qatari secretary to Emra for Security Affairs, Mohammed bin Ahmad 
been a la la la. These guys got to shorten their freaking names, man. They got to shorten the AOC. Right? See that? One fucking three letters, right? You can knock the shit down, man. I can't say that shit. I'm, I'm an American. I speak one language. Right? It's crazy. Ali Bobby Mama Maha Gaga. I'm sorry, man. It's not that funny of a story, really, but it's, it's actually very serious. We have to look at this stuff as we come into the election season. According to his sworn deposition, the three officials told him, uh, if it wasn't for our cash, Ilhan Omar would be just another black Somali refugee in, an Ameri- in America collecting welfare and serving tables on weekends. <laughs> wow, what a stab. Bender testified that the officials uh, asked him to recruit American politicians and journalists as Qatari assets, and that when he objected, was told that several prominent figures were already on payroll. (laughs) So he's trying to save his own ass. Omar, uh, Omar was described as the, quote, jewel in the crown, he said. Omar recruited uh, Ilhan Omar from uh, even way before she thought about becoming a government government official, they groomed her. Ooh, I like that word. Groomed her, and arranged a foundation, the grounds for her to get into politics way before she even showed any interest. Uh, the deposition showed he further told the court that during the 2017 meeting with Turkish President uh, Erdogan, Omar swore allegiance to him. At the time, she was a junior state representative in Minnesota. Omar was said to also have passed information to Qatar, which was subsequently handed along to Iran and was actively involved in recruiting other American politicians to likewise work for the West Asian Islamic country. Bender testified. I was testifying in court, right? Canadian court. Would he, would he lie? Would he go into a lie? <laughs> as if the courts matter anymore, as if... As if anything matters, right? He's, he's, he's lying. First of all, he's in Canada. And he's lying via, via live stream into a corrupt Florida federal court. Right? Is there any consequence to it? Is it, is it? is it binding because it's a federal court? <laughs> Fuck no. Quote, the best thing money can buy is American officials because they are the cheapest of the cheapest costing officials in the world. The Qatari officials were said to have told him. <laughs> That's true. I mean, American politicians will suck your dick for a, for a, for a dollar. Right? If a guy suck all your dicks for a dollar, honey, that fucking they'll do that shit. Since the day she was elected, Saudi Arabian trolls and mouthpieces. Where did I go? Fucking where'd you go, man? Um, I lost my place. The best thing money can buy. Since the day she was elected, Saudi Arabian trolls and mouthpieces have targeted Omar with misinformation and conspiracy theories, a spokesman for the Congress Congresswoman wrote. Yeah, well, that's true. We know that. The latest uh, outlandishly absurd story from a Saudi-funded media outlet is, of course, false and only the latest in the trend, the statement said from Omar. The only people Representative Omar in Washington, uh, represents in Washington are the people of Minnesota's 5th District. She will continue to speak out. Uh, Bender, Bender's testimony has been questioned and, uh, and reports, including this one by The Post, have led to speculation on Twitter. Omar has already been found by the Minnesota Campaign Finance Board to have broken campaign finance rules by improperly using campaign money who cares? It's, it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant to the story. So let's just keep going, see what else we can find. The biggest thing right there is that the guy, Alan Bender, is saying that Saudi Arabia funded, funded her. That's what he's saying, right? That's what he said. Well, I'm going to read that, that sentence one more time before we move on. If it wasn't for the Saudi government, if it wasn't for our cash to Qatar, not Saudi, Qatar, uh, cash, Ilhan Omar would be just another black Somali refugee in America collecting welfare and serving tables. That's what he said, right? Now, just again, hold that thought. So, where'd she get her money? We'll take a look at it. It's not true. That's, that's the point. So, Ilhan Omar accused of being Qatari asset in sworn testimony. The uh, I-24 International is reporting. 
Canadian businessman, it might be repetitive, just bear with me. All right? We're only a couple of minutes in. Let's find out the whole thing, man. See how it's being spun. Because you can't find anything in mainstream media. CNN ignored it. Uh, MSNBC, AP News, nobody's talking about it, right? Why? Is it a smear? Is it something that hasn't taken root yet and we're right, right in on the ground floor of breaking it uh, or, or, or debunking it? I don't know. U.S. Step- uh, Democratic Representative Ilhan Omar is a foreign agent on a Qatari payroll, a Florida court heard. Blah, 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 blah. The three allegations claimed, the three alleged claimed, <laughs> according to Bender, he met with three top Qatari officials, this is new, including the Emra of Security Affairs Secretary, and was told that Omar is, quote, the crown jewel among U.S. politicians recruited by Qatar. <clears throat> The three allegedly claim that Ilhan Omar, Ilhan Omar owned her own position to guitar. Wait, the three allegedly claim that Ilhan owed her current position to the Qatari money bankrolling her campaign. Qatari money bankrolling her campaign. That's false. Ilhan Omar is a, is a justice Democrat with mostly. Uh, local, mostly individual contributions. We'll look at the we'll look at uh, uh, open secret how they break it down. She also has supposedly shared sensitive information with Qatar, which in turn replay, relayed to Iran. There's no evidence. Without any evidence, this is there's nothing. It's just talk. FBI must investigate alleged Qatari bribery scheme in U.S. Congress. Explosive testimony given in a federal court accusing Representative Omar of taking bribes from Qatari, Qatar in exchange for leaking sensitive intelligence and influencing U.S. policy should be investigated by the FBI. Who's writing this? Middle East Forum. <laughs> uh, so it's a smear campaign. Uh, it's dump a little money in, get a couple of people with Arab names. Uh, it's just, come on, smear the lady. Why? Because she's, uh, she's a, a mover and a shaker. She's not listening. She's not sucking Pelosi's ass. She's not kissing the Democrats. She's, uh, she's, she's calling out the pa- Palestinians. In, uh, she's calling out the uh, Palestinian, the uh, Israelis beating the shit out of the uh, Palestinians in Israel. She's speaking. She got banned from stepping into Israel. So it's a fucking hero, right? She's a hero type. And here's Bender. Alan Bender. A certain level of dirty politics is a hazard. If government, look, this is serious because, first of all, if you have a spy... If Ilhan Omar happens to be a spy and a Qatari asset funneling information to the Qataris and, and the Qataris giving it off to Iran, uh, you've got a problem, right? You've got a spy in Congress, not a spy ring, but a actual elected spy in the House of Representatives. And that would be pretty heavy. That's a heavy accusation to make. Uh, now, you could say, I mean, it's it's... It's um, minuscule. It's minute. It's so, so smaller than what perhaps the Clintons did in the Clinton Foundation, uh, Foundation taking truckloads of money to the tunes of billions of dollars and funneling that into American politics. And I don't know, did they sell off ideas? Did Hillary Clinton sell the, sell the Saudis and the Qataris uh, uh, information? Maybe. Who knows? You know? But she definitely gave them a quid pro quo. What kind of favor do you need? Isn't that worse? When the Secretary of State is giving, you know, giving off, handing off favors to the, to uh, hostile nations that are tied to big oil and and knocking down the 9/11 buildings, is it is it, is it the same? Is Ilhan Omar actually guilty of any of that stuff? So let's look. Uh, here's, here he is. Right? Oh, it's uh, from Canada. Congratulations. He's got a picture, with uh, with the uh, two door, Justin. Trudeau, Trudeau. Uh, so he's up there with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. You know, I, I had a, um, I, I didn't have, but my buddy, right? We were at a catering event one time, right? True story. We're at a catering event. We're in, we're in uh, tuxedos, so we look like possibly a guest. You know, you fucking, when you're doing catering, your tuxedo looks like shit, but it looks like a cheap tuxedo because you wear a cheap tuxedo made of polyester so you could stretch and lift and, and serve, right? And, and fucking run around all night like, like an idiot serving people salad, right? But the point is that my, my buddy, right? My buddy got, uh, Bill Clinton was in the house. 
Bill Clinton was at the event, and the, the this guy, this guy, right? I won't say his name. Went up to Bill Clinton, right? It's a foul when you're working an event. It's not you're not supposed to do that. But he went up to Bill Clinton, and and uh, he he handed his friend the camera. He said, like, "Can I have, can I take a picture?" Right. So Bill Clinton doesn't know if he's a a waiter or a guest, and Bill Clinton was like, "Yeah, sure," you know. And so my buddy has a picture standing next to at a very foofy event with all the foof in the background, all the fucking lights and cameras and the band and the. You know all the all the people gathering, right? He looks like a guest at an event with Bill Clinton, and the reality is he's a fucking waiter, right? He's a waiter. He's a he's a fan, right? So I don't really trust pictures. That was my point. So Chudu, Alan Bender with Chudu. There he is. He's got a couple of them. Is that the same picture? Yeah, no, it looks like a different one. So he's got some kind of inroads to the uh, to this guy, right? A businessman, right? Wouldn't wouldn't we know more about his business? I tried to find out, I couldn't find shit, right? So I only all I could find out is this, right? I I googled his name. There's no Wikipedia page. There's nothing, you know. And a quick search. I didn't do a, a deep a deep dive. So born in Kuwait. Uh, to Iraqi parents, he spent most of his life in Kuwait, in one of the poorest areas of Kuwait. He is no stranger to poverty. The living conditions there were shit. He attended high school in Kuwait and law uh, law school in Damascus, Syria. <laughs> ah, fucking hey! Uh, he went to law school in Syria. Uh, scholarship paid his way through school. Thus, the basis. That literally pinpoints the brilliant mind that gave birth to such a rare ambition. Bender migrated to Canada as a refugee, a refugee in February in 1990. Uh, so let's keep going. Here's here's the Sheikh Ali Ali Abba. Sheikh Ali Ali Abba Mama. That's that guy, right? And um, here here's Ilhan Omar. We know her. The 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 very the very outspoken congresswoman, duly elected congresswoman from Minnesota, who is a firebrand, you love her, you hate her. No, none, nonetheless, you know who she is for sure. So, so the, alleg- the allegation that Qatar bankrolled Ilhan Omar's campaign. Let's look. So, uh, so this is the, the overall breakdown. This is how much money people gave she raised uh, for her 2020 campaign total two million, two and a half million dollars. She spent one million. She has one and a half million dollars left. All right? She has four thousand dollars, eight four thousand eight hundred dollars in debt. All right? So this is as of September 30th, 2019. This is how much money she has on hand. Raised two and a half million. Spent the million, has a million and a half. Plus, she's a congresswoman now. She has a full salary, right? Not that that's supposed to be commingled with with uh, with campaigning, right? But here's the other thing, right? Here's here's the here's the tell right here. Source of source of funds right here. Small individual contributions, one point five million dollars. Sixty percent of her money came from. Individual contributions less than two hundred dollars. So you're going to tell me a, a ten thousand or fifteen or twenty thousand people are all Qatari assets? They're all given the money so that Ilhan Omar could run for Congress and win to support the Qatari government? How fucking ridiculous! That's ridiculous. The money you follow the money, right? Bender, you you don't even know who he is. A businessman from from. From Canadian businessman, he went to school in Syria. He's he's on the stand testifying to to in Florida via via you know phone, right? He's, he's he'll have immunity in his country if he gets caught lying. There'll be no perjury. It's fucking it's bullshit. Large individual contributions, a million dollars. It's a lot of money, right? And uh, PAC contributions, thirty two grand she took from PACs. Uh, and other 12, 12 grand. So the majority, over 60% of her money came from individual contributions, right? And do we know that to be true? Who is Ilhan Omar? Pow. Ilhan Omar ran as a justice Democrat. 
just like uh, uh, um, uh, <clears throat> Rashida Talib and Alessandro Ocasio Cortez and Elvis Presley. Right? What's the name? I always get a name wrong. Presley. Uh, <clears throat> so, if you roll it back to 2016, earlier 2015, the Justice Democrats. You heard of those guys? Right? I did the interview. You remember the guy? Um, Remember this guy, uh, he was on the show, Nick Brana. Remember I had the show, I did this, and Nick and I, we talked, we had a great talk. He was, he was a uh, brand new Congress, or, oh, no, no, he was, um, I don't know, he was one of these groups, I forgot now, right? He, he, he was, uh, people, oh, oh, Draft Bernie, right? Draft Bernie, and um, uh, he's, a, he's the founder of a people's party, right? So Nick Brana is very much in the mix with these characters, right? It's not, he wasn't brand new Congress. That was, that was a different guy, right? But nonetheless, he's right in there. Nick Brana, right? I love that guy. But, but listen, listen to what happened. Listen to who, who bankrolled Al, uh, Ilhan Omar. That's the, that's the story. Stick with the story, Conti. Uh, so just as Democrats is an American Progressive Political Action Committee founded on July 3rd, 2017 by Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk. We love Kyle. Kyle's a fucking great guy. That's Cenk Uger. He's also Cenk. He's also funded by. But here's Kyle Kalinske. Uh, stay in order. Kyle Kalinske. I watch his show all the time. I love Kyle. He's a fucking 30-year-old genius, right? Um, Cenk Uger bankrolled it too, right? So these are the guys. Cenk Uger of the Young Turks and Kyle Kalinske of Secular Talk had this idea to form a political party called Justice Democrats, a left-leaning uh, uh, you know, slot of the Democratic Party. Right? And then there's this other guy, I don't know who this is. And uh, Zach Ex Exley. Zach Exley uh, also. So those four guys put it together. And then, then uh, Tank Uger and... and uh, and Kyle Kalinske dumped it. But listen to the stats, right? Kyle Kalinske and uh, Uger are no longer affiliates with the group, but remain active supporters. Uh, uh, Alessandro Rojas became executive director. Right? So this is who they're responsible. In 2018 elections, 26 of the uh, 79 candidates, I said 2016 earlier, I meant 2018. In 2018 elections, tw uh, 26 of the 79 candidates, this is after, I got the time frame wrong, after Bernie Sanders folded in 2016, Justice Democrats evolved, right? Yes. Founded 2017. So after Bernie falls, Democrats fuck Bernie's ass, hand the, hand the shit over to uh, Hillary Clinton, who goes on and loses to, uh, to Donald Trump. Justice Democrats evolves, right? And it's interesting stuff, right? I'm interested in it. That's what I'm talking about. 2018, 26 of the 79 candidates endorsed by Democratic uh, Justice Democrats won their respective primary elections. Seven of those candidates won in the general. So it's Raul, Grillalala, um, Ro Khanna, uh, Ania, <laughs> Ayana, Prez Ayana. Ayanna Presley. That's why I can't say her name. Ayanna Presley, Rashida Talib, Ilhan Omar, Alessandra Ocasio Cortez, and uh, Pramila Jaapal. Jaapal. All, right. All these three, these seven, right, were pushed in the same way that Bernie Sanders pushed his campaign. It was small dollar donations that got Ilhan Omar elected. It was not Kuwaiti money. So it's a fucking lie. Where did where is this coming from? So we have to, I don't know, Mark's County reporting. You heard the evidence. You heard the evidence. The evidence is now on the table for you to decide. Comment as you will. And don't don't insult me because I'm getting tired of it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete your shit, man, because I have my finger on the button, Mofo. I have my finger on the delete button. It's a garbage pail, and you just go right to the fucking pail, man. So let me know. I'm serious. What what you think uh, this is? I, I mean, you know, let's see who's gonna smear it, right? I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, fucking what's his name? Al Alex uh, Alex Jones is standing on the chair right now with the veins popping out of his neck, saying, "Ilhan Omar is a, a corrupt motherfucker. She's a spy. 
Get her, lock her up. We gotta lock her up. She's an Israeli asset, motherfucker. Right. He's probably on the on the fucking table. <coughs> that hurts. Uh, doing that, man. So I don't know, man. I, I'm I'm not I'm not sure. <laughs> Yeah, we